Whatever you do, do not think about pink elephants. See what I did there? Your brain has to think about it to not think about it. But you know, when we try to overcome sin in our own strength, we do the same thing. In order to avoid shame, we spend our days telling ourselves not to sin. But we've inadvertently spent our whole time thinking about sin. Romans 8.5 says this, Those who are dominated by the sinful nature think about sinful things, but those who are controlled by the Holy Spirit think about things that please the Spirit. Marriage is a great example of how this works. My wife doesn't want me to be faithful to her just because it's the rules. She doesn't want me to have to put physical blinders on my eyes or to uh, spend my day telling myself, thou shalt not commit adultery. No, what she really wants is for me to be completely in love with her. And because I am, when I think about beauty, I think about her. When I think about love, I think about her. And when I think about intimacy, I think about her. Because I love her, my thoughts are always with her. That's what God means when he says to be filled with the Spirit. He doesn't want us to spend our days thinking about sin or even how to avoid it. He wants our focus to be on him and the good things he has for us. That's why Christ died, to pay the punishment for our sin. So we don't have to let shame control our thoughts, and we can live every moment in thankfulness and praise. Avoiding sin is just a byproduct of this way of thinking. Paul said this so eloquently in his letter to the church at Philippi. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report. If there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things.